Hi Virgo, this is Alyssa with Twin Cup Tarot and I have another reading for you today. This is going to be a forecast reading for the sign of Virgo for February of 2020. Now keep in mind that energy is fluid, time is an illusion, roles can be reversed and this may not be your story and if not, that's okay. It's just supposed to be the message for those who need to hear it the most. You know, and this doesn't have to be a reading for February of 2020. You will feel drawn to watch this video when you most need to see it so just keep in mind it'll be for whatever the next month is in the cycle for you for instance if you watch this in September keep in mind that this is probably for October all right so let's get right into it Virgo I am gonna start with getting kind of the general energies of what you should expect in February with the Rider weight deck here so I'm just gonna start shuffling and let's see what we get Virgo, are you dealing with an Aries currently? It's very interesting because immediately you got some of the same cards that Aries got in their reading. Some pretty distinctive cards. So let's see here. Um, for a lot of you, there is definitely an Aries playing an important role in your life for the month of February. Um, I definitely, with, with the Ten of Wands in reverse... I would see this be being um, maybe letting go of a burden that was on you, or it could be simply that you were so overburdened, you, you dropped the wands. You picked up one too many wands and then accidentally dropped them all. And now you're left kind of reevaluating. You know, and just kind of waiting for your ships to come in, waiting for communication in some sense, you know, waiting for communication that's going to justify some kind of action that you or someone else took or, or maybe, you know, with this, this three of pentacles in reverse and this high priestess in reverse and the knight of cups in reverse, you know, I think you're waiting for someone to contact you in a romantic matter or an emotional matter. You're waiting for someone to tell you that the effort you put in is justified. Interesting. It's also, for some of you, you might be waiting for communication that someone is willing to help you in whatever this struggle is here. Um, but I see that Either way, you're waiting for communication. You want illusions to be dissipated. You want the truth to come to light. You want to hear that someone has emotion for you. You want justice in the situation. You want to know that your work was was not wasted. Your energy wasn't wasted. Uh, your focus wasn't wasted. And you're just kind of in this state of waiting of not moving forward, not doing anything, simply waiting. But with this Devil card and the Page of Swords and the Six of Pentacles with the Seven of Swords and the Four of Wands in reverse, I'm getting that this definitely had to do with a desire. You know, once again, you want truth about a, a situation that has to do with pleasure or desire. You want to know that... Um, you want to be given to and not taken from. And you're worried that that the stability that you're looking for, you know, this this four of wands, you're worried that it, it won't be stable, that you won't get your your dream here. Very interesting, Virgo. I'm getting there's a lot of swords energy, a lot of wands energy. Um yeah, I, I feel strongly that you're dealing with a fire sign or an air sign. But because I, I literally just did the Aries reading, and these were a couple of the cards just immediately that spoke to me, you could be dealing with an Aries, and there might be a separation going on. But with this Devil card and the Page of Swords, you know, and all the other, you know, cards in reverse here, I think this is more about desire than love for a lot of you. Um, and if it is not a romantic situation, this has to do with 
something you're passionate about, something you desire but not in a romantic sense. So that could be a career advancement, that could be a hobby, that could be um, a trip. It could be a whole number of things. But either way, you're waiting for communication that your energy wasn't wasted and that feelings or thoughts are reciprocated or that your hens are going to come to roost, you know, that kind of thing. Let's see if we get some more cards here. That's kind of a confusing energy, Virgo. Ooh, I don't know. That's a lot of cards. I don't know if I should take that. We're going to take it. Okay, so I have... Okay. Did you... Did you... Um have some opportunities come in and yet you didn't take them, didn't take advantage of the situation, didn't put in the correct work, and then it rushed right out and you lost the opportunity? Did you open your mind to a possible third party situation? Now, it doesn't have to be a third party situation in romance. It could be simply, you know, um, a situation involving three people that is definitely a challenge right now. Maybe you're waiting for, you know, a judge to rule in your favor or a significant person who kind of authority figure to rule in your favor against someone else. Do you feel hurt by one person and another person is involved? It's very interesting. I'm getting that whatever you've been putting your passion towards, you're you're pretty much wanting to tip that cup over and just let the emotions run out. You're very fed up. You're tired of waiting. And because of all the waiting you've been doing, you're starting to resent you know, the situation, resent the person, you know, but I, I think that the advice here for February is to withdraw a bit, really take some time to think about this in a logical, rational way, and try to cut away your emotions. And that's going to help you, you know, reach, reach this happiness you're looking for. That's going to help you decide what it is that you, you actually want your future to look like. You know, that's going to help you end the conflict. And you're, you're going to stop feeling like you have a lack of control in your situation. You're going to realize that things are happening as they must. Things happen in their due time. You can't rush them right now. And, and a new beginning, you know, will be coming from this. Okay. A new beginning, but it is a little delayed. Things have to happen in their due time. That's confusing, Virgo. I, I get that this is very different for a lot of you. For some of you, this is definitely a romantic situation. For some of you, this has to do with your stability, your career, something you feel passionate about. But I get so many stories, which actually makes sense because whenever I think of a Virgo, I, th I, I think of Dr. Fate, okay? Virgos have this uncanny ability to see every possible outcome in every possible situation. They see the good and the bad, and this can cause a lot of anxiety in Virgos, a lot of overthinking in Virgos, you know, and they worry very much about the negative outcomes so much that sometimes they simply won't take action in, in a scenario. And I think that that's actually keeping you from being happy is worrying too much about the outcome when you should be trusting that things are happening as they as they are supposed to and then you just need to worry about yourself only you need to worry about your specific choices only your path only your stability your balance your clarity you know all of that it needs to be based off of your desires your wants your thought processes it, you definitely need to focus on yourself in February, but, but I'm seeing that you might not do that. I'm seeing in February you might let too many situations, you know, really cloud your judgment, impact your, your thinking, and that actually might be what causes you to drop all these wands is you're taking on too much. You're worrying about too much and you're, you're letting it weigh you down. You're letting it keep you from the romantic union that you're wanting, it's keeping you stuck in place when really you should be walking away from what doesn't serve you, what isn't making you happy, 
Because honestly, your soul knows the correct path you need to take. And when you're not in alignment with what your soul needs and what your soul desires, you're going to find yourself extremely unhappy and stagnant and confused. Let's see if I get any more messages here about the situation, Virgo. I'm so sorry if this if this message is all over the place. Believe it or not, Virgos, I had to restart your video probably five or six times at the introduction because I couldn't seem to find the right words. I was having an issue with my throat chakra. You know, I, I definitely felt scattered. So that might be your energy right now is in February. Maybe it's this Aquarius energy affecting you. Um, but yeah, I, I definitely see that you're not going to feel as grounded as you normally do. You know, with this Queen of Wands in reverse, once again, I think that's, <laughs> it's just talking about, you know, maybe inappropriate passion or passion that doesn't serve you or simply a lack of passion. So either way, you know, the passion isn't looking positive in the month of February because the stress is just affecting you so heavily. All right, let's see what we get here. So many different situations here, Virgo. Um, so what I'm getting with this is you think that if you let go of control, you're being weak and you're not being independent, but that's actually not true at all. It is okay to let go of control. It's okay to let someone else take the wheel. You don't have to be commander of your ship at all times, okay? You can let someone else take the wheel. So you could take a snooze every once in a while. You know, this is definitely saying let go of the situation. Don't overburden yourself so that you just drop all the wands. Only take what you can handle you know, trust that, that the outcome is going to play out as it must. Don't play every scenario in your head. In fact, I wouldn't even worry about the future right now. I would just take your situation step by step. All right, Virgo, I think I'm beating a dead horse there. Um, Let's get some love messages for Virgo, because for a lot of you, I feel that you are actually waiting for a romantic message or emotional message of some sort. So let's just get some romantic messages here from the um, Whispers of Love Oracle deck. All right, so I have 43 breaking down to a seven. Love endures. Love does not give up or lose faith. Love is hopeful and withstands every situation. And then I have 10 breaking down to a one. Treasure your loved ones. It is important to love others deeply. That is beautiful, Virgo. That is beautiful. So this is actually saying don't give up just because things are taking a while or because there's challenges. Don't give up on the love you feel for whoever this is in regards to or the care you feel for whoever this is in regards to. You know, and even if this person is not for you, if this is a romantic situation, don't give up on love in general, okay? Don't, don't let this cloud your future loves. Don't let this put a bitterness in your mouth towards future romantic endeavors just because you might have been let down in this specific love. But either way, it's saying to, you know, treasure the loved ones you have around you. So family, you know, friends, soul tribe, significant other, all of that. This is a time to really appreciate them and be patient. Be okay with waiting. Things are going to happen in their due time either way. Let's see if we get any other messages here, Virgo. Wow, Virgo, this is an interesting read. It's an interesting read. I hope it I hope it makes sense to you. It's not fully making sense to me, so <laughs> I just hope it resonates with you in some fashion. 
All right, so I have 44 breaking down to an eight. Get to know each other. Learn to meet another's need for love. Wow, so that might be part of this too. If you're waiting for someone to reciprocate your feelings or if you're waiting for someone to send you a message saying that they feel the way you do or they want more with you, you first need to spend more time getting to know this person's wants and needs. You know, and I'm don't change who you are, but it is important to to really put effort into what other people want as well when you want to build a partnership with them. You know, find out what they love, find out what they care about, find out what their interests are, you know, find out what they need in a relationship. And even if you have to ask them, but it's important that you make the possible steps. See, my throat chakra is really struggling with this pile of Virgos. Wow, that's so not like you. You guys are usually masters of your of your words, masters of your words. So you, you might have a little bit of struggles. In, in February, you know, it might be best at times to say as little as possible so that you aren't misunderstood, so that others don't take what you say in a different light than you mean. I would say, say as little as possible, make things very direct, very blunt, but kind. And I think that's where I will go ahead and end the love portion of this because I'm, I'm, I don't know if I'm making any sense. So let's see. Maybe some healing messages for Virgo and then we'll wrap this up, okay? All right, so this is from the Angels, Gods, and Goddesses deck. We're going to get some healing messages for Virgo. Wow, Virgo. Got a bunch of stuff here. So we have Angel of Support. The universe has heard your silent call for help. Goddess of Psychic Protection. What you believe you create, no one can harm you. Angel of Psychic Ability, your intuitive and psychic abilities are strong at present. An Angel of Vision, someone is not revealing part of the story. Trust your feelings over what they say. Wow, you know, Virgos, you, you generally have a very strong intuition. And like the Dr. Fate, you know, that I kind of compare you to, you guys not only, you know, see every possible scenario, I think it has to do with a little bit of foresight that you guys naturally have. You have the ability to see all possible outcomes in a future, good and bad. It's just sometimes you focus too much on the possible negatives. But this is saying, you know, let go of your stress, let go of your anxiety, and trust what your gut is telling you. You know, trust that your intuition is going to tell you what the correct answer is, what the correct direction is. You know, and if you believe that the worst is going to happen, you could very well create it. If you believe the best is going to happen, you could very well create it. You know, no one can stop you from achieving what you want besides you, okay? Only you have the ability to limit yourself, Okay, and you know, this might be a little bit of a challenging month for you in February. I see it being very confusing, having a hard time communicating, um, feeling very impatient, wanting this news to come in or message to come in and it's just not coming in. But realize that, you know, regardless of your spirituality or religion, your, your angels the higher beings, the universe, they are looking out for you and they are here to comfort you. You just have to ask for it. Um, you don't know the whole situation here. You don't know what's going on with the other person or the other part of the equation here. And just realize that whatever's going on on the other side, it needs to play out on its own and be resolved before you can receive the message that you're looking for. All right. Okay, I'm going to wrap it up here because I feel like I'm rambling, Virgo. So I hope this helped. Please like, share, and subscribe, and comment down below and let me know if this resonated with you. I love you so much. Bye.